you what's good guys medical gamer over here showing you how to connect to college wi-fi on your 3ds and a lot of the things that i did research on because i just got my 3ds at college and i was trying to connect to wi-fi so i can uh, download some things but it wouldn't it wouldn't connect to my college wi-fi and a lot of things online tell you how to create your own wireless router using your laptop but a lot of colleges don't allow for that. So I just wanted to show off this trick that I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that you're allowed to, it's legal. You're allowed to do it on college Wi-Fi. You might wanna check your college campus's um, details and the terms and conditions or whatnot, just to make sure that this, that this is okay with your college. But as you can see, uh, connection one and two is just personal. But connection three is to desktop. So now I'm going to show you guys basically how to turn your laptop into a mobile hotspot if you have Windows 10. I'm sorry, I'm not too sure about Mac. I'm gonna just delete the settings right here so I can guide you through step by step. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is you want to go to settings on Windows 10. Oh, just kidding. That Okay, here we go. <laughs> I, I already went there. So now you want to go to network and internet. And then over here you have mobile hotspot. So you want to share your internet connection from Wi-Fi. So right now I'm connected to my to my college Wi-Fi. And you just do that. You share my internet connections with other devices. So now you go back to your 3DS, click new connection, uh, manual setup, search for access point. Now, it's going to search and it's going to find an access point. And now you're going to want to go with the one that it tells you on your, on your laptop. So, you're going to want to go with, in my case, desktop RL5QBM2 1760. So, find that right there. It's right here. Click on it. And then enter the security key. Now, the security key is given right here underneath the network password. So that'd be six capital F seven three number sign or pound sign <laughs> and zero lowercase n and nine. So this is just for my laptop. It will not be the same for all of yours. So you have to basically do what is unique to yours. So an access point will be saved. I, I just typed it in, that's basically what I did. Connection test will be performed. So now it's gonna test this system to the access point. It did connect there. And then now, see if we can connect to the internet. Uh, first time it took me, it took a long time, but no, now this time, wow, it's, it's really quick. So it worked. And as you can see, I am connected to the internet. Uh, it, it doesn't really show it on the top, but it will once I go onto the internet and I'll show you guys that. So yeah, this is what you can do. And once again, please make sure that your college does allow this. It, I'm pretty sure that they will allow it because you're just using your laptop as a mobile hotspot. You're not using it as a router or anything like that. And as you can see on the top left, internet is connected. And I will just show you guys, I'll just show you really quickly. Let's just go to Google. Let's go to Google, google.com google.co oh two dots c o m confirm and there you go guys google.com works so as you can see this is how you can connect your 3ds to a college campus internet i'm connected to my college campus's secure internet but you could also do it on the guest one anything those all work but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did please hit the thumbs up down below subscribe all that good stuff and leave a comment if you need any help or are facing any, or having any issues or things like that this is something that i just came up with on my own i have not seen a tutorial of this on youtube and so there might be some issues i'm i'm in no way shape or form a an it guy or anything like that but yeah i'm gonna get out of here peace